What's your name? My name is Mike Travers. Hey Mike, what do you do here? Uh, I run the uh, Z rig, as I like to call it, or the zombie rig. Uh, that's what we got where we've got nine or 11, depending on which rig you're on, uh, paintball guns and a whole field full of zombies, not actors, not people, at least not anymore. And we go around in a circle, round them up and take them out. Now tell me about these rigs. Describe these rigs. Well, there's something that you might see out of your nightmare, but, uh, the way to put it is, uh, it's big metal rig right here, right in a box. We got nine or 11 different paintball guns lined up. Each one has 50 in them. You can pay more if you want some more, and you're going to want some more. Uh, we go in a nice little circle, unload on all of the zombies. It's nice. It's bring the kids, bring your grandma, you know, bring anyone with a bloodlust. Okay, and you're doing this at night, so how do we see the zombies? Well, what we do is uh, we light them up with uh, little blue pin lights, which uh, helps with the paintballs because the splatter effect, it just causes a nice little bit of neon to light up. So you know what you're hitting and you know where you're hitting them, especially since it's great to know that you're hitting them pretty hard. We hear some of the zombies complain at the end of the night, but they aren't people, they don't count. <laughs> And about how uh, how many groups a night can you handle? What's your best? Do you want reservations? We can. Hit, oh, we would love reservations. We would love reservations. We can handle whatever you got. The fact is, we we want more people. We've had a lot of people. We've had people spend close to a hundred dollars on reloads in just one group. But uh, we could do more. And ideally, to guarantee people can get on on a busy Friday or Saturday night, reservations will ensure that. Absolutely. You'll get VIP treatment led right onto the tram. We'll make certain that the zombies are all primmed up for you. You know, doll them up a bit. Of course, it's up to them to really paint their faces, you know. <laughs> and give me a funny story about this year, since this is brand new. You got a story. <laughs> well, uh, oh I will God. say this. Uh, we had one group. It's always the people you don't expect, really. We had a group that was about just six girls, and you're expecting, like, oh, one of them really wanted to do it, and they convinced the other ones. No. All six of these girls had an itchy trigger finger and a bloodlust to feed. And they fed it. They were going through uh, paintball rounds like it was nobody's business. Uh, I think we wound up having to give each one of them at least three or four reloads. And uh, they were they were kind of wanting more, but the best thing, they're going to come back. Yeah. So have you ever been involved with something like this before? This, I have, I have not seen anything like this before, honestly. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Where else can you go to actually shoot zombies from the comfort of a safe rig, you know? Without having to get out in the middle of the field, risk getting bitten yourself. No, no, this is a nice family way to take out family members. Former family members, I should say. And the zombies don't know how to shoot paintball guns, so they don't fire back. No, no, they're slowly learning to use crude instruments like sticks and, and barrels. But we make certain that people shoot those people as much as they possibly can. We don't want them, we don't want those types breeding. We don't want them learning. We need to get them uh, a little more dumbed down. So the more people that come out, more people that take them out, the better society as a whole is. Right. anything else you want to add? Come, but you get to shoot zombies with paintballs. What, where else can you do that? Only here, only here at Tormented Souls. All right, thank you very much. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, that right, was awesome. That was again. awesome. Thanks for coming. Bet. Bet. <laughs>